Tamar Braxton speaks at a Celebrating Sisterhood conference in Philadelphia. sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And, um, and, you know, lighting candles and praying 
and you know, and I use it as a tool to remind myself to pray over the things that God has already promised me, already told me that I can have, because the Bible says, ask and it shall be given. <laughs> not almost, not maybe, the word is shall. And the truth is, I found myself in a situation where I didn't really truly know how to pray like that, because I wasn't in the practice. And the reason why I started intentions was to, to be used as a tool to remind myself to pray over the things that were already mine. Right. Absolutely. And that's just what it was. Absolutely. And so when I started to do that, I was like, wow, this is very simple. It's not really that hard. But when you're raised in the church, sometimes people like light a candle and be like, oh, you're going to hell. You're scared. Not at all. Right. Not at all. So, you know, I just decided that this is something that really truly worked for me and uh, manifestation is a huge thing for me and when I light my candle just reminded me to pray and that's it it's just a tool that's beautiful and not a spirit it's yeah. a tool and you can shop those tools on our website I know now we're gonna get to the Q&A after my sister because it's a fine line yeah I'm sorry what, 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 what's the question? Well, I'm not an expert. I just know that I'm, I'm not into praying to any other God but God the Father, period. I know that's right. And so for me, I, well, I believe that Jesus Christ, he's dying on the cross for me with the evidence and speaking in tongues. Like, what you talking about? Yeah. Like, don't do that. Like, <laughs> come on. That's, that's not the question. Come on. I'm not for debate here. Right. And so that's why I say what I say. Thanks for tuning in to NIMAG TV.